Hi, I'm Bonnie and I'm back to talk about multiplying and dividing fractions. I need to give you a heads up that my dogs are kind of hitch hitting their witching hour and they may start howling. So please be patient and I'll pause and I'll take care of the dogs and I'll be back. Um, when multiplying fractions, it really goes in with my KISS philosophy, which is keep it simple. Sister, that's me. So when you're multiplying fractions, it's super easy. So let's take two thirds times one fifth. Okay. This is so easy. If you have a times table, piece of paper and a pencil, you should be good for this whole lesson. You multiply the numerators, the numbers on top, two times one is two, and multiply the numbers at the bottom, three times five, draw your line, and it's 15. So that's two fifteenths. That wasn't hard. Piece of cake, let's try another one. How about six ninths times two thirds? We're gonna multiply the numerators straight across, multiply the denominators down on denominators straight across to get our answer. Six times two is times tables. Use them if you need them. Six times two is 12. Then we do the denominators, the lower number. Nine times three, nine times three, look on the chart, look on the chart, look on the chart. Yes! Three nines are 27. 12 27 Any questions? Should be pretty easy. Okay, so let me erase my board. And we'll talk about dividing fractions. I so love this part of fractions. It is so much a piece of cake. So let's talk about dividing fractions. Or better yet, let me give you a couple problems to try when you're multiplying fractions. Let's try these. How about seven fourths times four eighths equals something? I'll let you fill it in. Write it on your piece of paper. And then let's try six eighths times three fifths equals something. Let's try a third one, just to really stretch your brains. How about, we're getting low to the bottom here. How about eight ninths, can you see it? Times five fourths. Well, we're getting way down to the bottom. Okay, take a moment, fill them in, just multiply across. Multiply across for the top, multiply across for the bottom. No problem, use your times table. Multiply across for the top, multiply across from the bottom, and multiply across from the top, and multiply across from the bottom. Let's fill them in. Take a moment to write down the problems and fill them in. How about I give you a minute to get everything written down and thought about? I'll pause and then I'll be right back. All right, let's give this another shot and see where we're going. Seven times four, use those timetables. I have no problem with you using your times tables. Seven times four is, I'm listening, 28, thank you. And four times eight, 32. Piece of cake. Four times eight, 32. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I think it's right. Let's try the next one. I always have to check. I am terrible when it comes to calculating things. I have to go slow. I have to take my time. I have to be kind and gentle to myself while I'm doing this. And I'm assuming you're going to be the same way. Go across the top. Six times three. Look on your chart. Eighteen. 
eight times five, 40. Count the next one. Eight, oh, here's eight times five again. Eight times five is 40 again. Four times nine, 36. Okay, so you seem to have it. You seem to be understanding, you just multiply across and use your times tables as you need them. That's what they're there for. Let me erase this and let's try dividing. Yeah, I see you shaking in your boots. You don't really need to because I go on the KISS philosophy, the keep it simple sister. And we're gonna do the same thing for dividing fractions. We're gonna keep it very, very simple. And keep your times table right handy because you're gonna need it. Let's divide some fractions. Um, let's try eight sixths divided by, uh, let's say two thirds. Right. Eight six divided by two thirds. Ah, panic, panic, tilt, 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 light bulbs, light bulbs, explosions. Can't do, can't. Yes, you can. Be kind and gentle to yourself. Take a deep breath, let it out, and breathe because this is going to be so easy. You're going to say, ah, oh, Bonnie, piece of cake. When you have to divide fractions, you take the second fraction and you flip it. So let's rewrite it. Eight over six, and then we're gonna flip this one. Three over two, and then to keep life simple, you're going to multiply straight across, just like you did the last time. Three eighths are 24, six times two is 12. All right. This flipping thing that we did, you can call it inverting. You can call it taking the reciprocal. You can call it just flipping it. Um, in math, the real math word is taking the reciprocal. That means you turn it upside down, okay? The reverse of it. So let's try another one. Because I think this is gonna be just as easy as the multiplying was for you. Let's take one sixth divided by eight elevenths. It's going to equal something. We take the second number and find the reciprocal. We flip it. So we have one sixth, and then this is 11 eighths. We turned it upside down. We found the reciprocal. We flipped it. And we multiply, we change this to this. Multiply across, 11 times one is 11, six times eight is 48. That wasn't too bad, was it? I hope your hearts have stopped pounding and your hands have stopped sweating, because it's so easy. Now let's think back and get some words applied to this. They say when you go to teaching school that the more senses you can incorporate when you're teaching something, the more somebody's gonna remember it, be, make the knowledge their own. And that's my goal is to make the knowledge your own so that you have a strong, mouth, strong math foundation. So when we want to multiply fractions, how are we gonna do it? Give me some words. Turn to the person next to you and compose a sentence. To multiply fractions, we, and then tell me what you do. Go ahead, take a moment or two. Look at the other person. Talk to them about math. Talk to them and see what they say. look at each other and you don't know. Of course you know. Think back what we did at the beginning. When you're multiplying fractions, you multiply numerators and then you multiply denominators.
Just go straight across. Psh, psh. That's it. Write that down. Multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators, you multiply the denominators. And that's going to give you your answer. Write it down. Make it your own. Put it in your book. Write it in a piece of paper. Embroider it on your shirt. Tattoo it. Whatever you want to do, but remember it. Make it your own. Let's do the same thing for dividing fractions. When dividing fractions, invert the second number. and then multiply straight across. Okay. When you're dividing, you take the reciprocal, you invert the second number, and then psh, psh, multiply straight across. Keep it simple. Don't let that adrenaline panic cause you to start thinking with the back of your brain instead of the front of your brain. Take a deep breath. Say, I can do this. I can so do this. All right, so now we know how to multiply fractions and how to divide fractions. So I'm going to take a moment. Hopefully you've got this down. I know my chicken scratch is sometimes hard to read, but help each other. All right, I'll erase this. I only have a tiny board, so we have to keep erasing and keep moving on. So what I'd like to do now is give you some problems to work on. Some of them will be multiplying fractions. Some of them will be dividing fractions. Now, I'm not going to give you a boatload because we don't need to do a boatload to show that we understand what's going on. But I do believe that practice makes progress. Hence the challenge at the end of this video. Here we go. The first one, let's take one half times five fourths equals something. All right. And then let's do one quarter times five thirds equals something. These are multiplying. Think, think, think. What did that lady tell me to do when you, when you have fractions you multiply? Yes, yes. You just go straight across. Keep it simple. One times five is five. Two times four is eight. One times five is five. Three to four times three is 12. A piece of cake. Then let's jump guns, chain ships. Let's try this one. Let's try one sixth divided by eight elevenths. Hmm, what are we gonna do for dividing fractions? Think, 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 think. What did she say? What did I write down? What are my resources? Do I have my time to? Yes, I remember. Do you remember? You take the reciprocal, you flip the second one. So let's do a rewrite here. So we've got, oops, one sixth. I'm now gonna multiply times 11 over eight. And that's eight. And that's gonna give us something. And then we just multiply across because we flipped this one, we took the reciprocal, we flipped it, turned it upside down. So one times 11 is 11, and six times eight is 48. Done. Piece of cake. Let's try another one. How about, mm, let me see if I have a good one that I can do. How about, now let's do this one. 
one third divided by one third. Take the reciprocal of the second one, flip it so that it becomes one third times three over one. And then we multiply across, multiply the tops. Three times one is three. Three times one is three. Hmm. Well, we, what do we know about any number that's the same top and bottom? Any number over itself is equal to one. So let me just be racing here because I have a feeling there's a pattern coming up. You know, math is all about patterns. So we did one third times one divided by one third. Let's try one sixth divided by one sixth. We're going to take the reciprocal of the second one, we flip it. So that gives us one sixth and then six over one. And then we're going to multiply. Six times one is six. Six times one. Hmm. Do you sense a pattern coming up here? I sense a pattern coming up. Let's try one more. How about um, two thirds? Oops. Divided by two thirds equals something. Oh, there's my hound dog barking. Let's flip this one. Two thirds, and we're going to multiply times three over two is going to equal two times three is six. Two times three is six. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're ending up with a lot of numbers. So if they're the same and we take the reciprocal of it, the answer is going to be equal to one. Ha, I like this clues. I like this tricks. I like to keep it simple. Excuse me one moment. I have to get my spray bottle and squirt the dog. Hang on. Hopefully that'll help and she'll be a little more quiet. So now, today, you know how to multiply and divide fractions. But since math is mostly patterns, I wanna share one of my most fun patterns with you. I'd like you to first stick your thumbs up and sit in front of a desk so you have a desk to pound on. Thumbs up, got it? Then you take, make two peace signals, signs, peace. Then I love you. Okay, thumbs, peace, I love you, okay? Fists, then you touch your thumbs on the desk, then you touch your peace signal on the desk, then you touch your outer two, I love you on the desk. That's a pattern. And it's several steps that you have to remember. It's fun to practice and it fires up the neurons in the brain so that when you're doing math, you can remember the patterns because math is basically patterns that you're gonna to repeat to solve problems. Piece of cake, guys, totally piece of cake. I wanna thank you for watching and I wanna give you a challenge. Your challenge for now is to make up two problems, a multiplication and a division problem. Try them on your own. Ask somebody to check it for you, see if you did them right. I think you'll be surprised how much you remember. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.